I'm sure there are tons of videos out there on the topic of cleaning your laser's optics, but I've seen some with recommendations that I just don't agree with. So I thought I'd share how we clean the optics on our lasers. I'm sure some of you might not agree with the methods we use, and if you have a better method, please share it in the comments below. Before we get started, we'd appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future videos. It lets us know that we're providing something valuable to the laser community. Before you do anything, make sure you start with clean hands. If you need to clean your optics often, and you're willing to waste a pair of gloves, and they're not being price gouged because of, say, a pandemic, go for it. Otherwise, I would just make sure to wash your hands before you start, and try not to touch the optics or touch anything that will then come in contact with the optics. Uh, duh. duh. Start by blowing off your lens and mirrors. In my experience, those little hand squeeze dusters do work, but not really that well. I've used them for camera lenses back in the day, and I never was a big fan of them. And for this application, I don't think they dislodge really stuck on dust. I would not use one of those lens cleaning brushes either, unless you really had to. I believe they will just introduce more fine scratches onto your optics over time. We use a compressor set at around 30 to 40 PSI to blow off our optics. The air gun's airflow is also adjustable. A rubber tip on the end is absolutely necessary in case of contact with the lens, but you should never be that close with it. We'll provide links to all the stuff we use in the description below. Even if the optics look clean, I would recommend blowing them off. It won't hurt, and there's often dust on them that's hard to see. After that, if they look clean, no spots, hazing, etc., I wouldn't go any further. There's no reason to tempt fate. Every time you touch them, you're running the risk of doing damage. However, if you do see that they need further cleaning, this is how I would approach it. You'll need lens cleaning tissues and lens cleaning solution. Make sure you keep these cleaning supplies in a case or box of some kind to keep them clean. Uh, duh. duh. I start with a new lens cleaning tissue. Always start with a new sheet, not the used one from your last cleaning. These are too cheap to not use a new one. Anyway, I loosely fold it up until I get a small puffy rectangle roughly about one by two inches in size. I place enough lens cleaning solution on one corner to saturate it and then lightly wipe it across the center of the lens or mirror I'm working on in one direction, and then quickly go back over it very gently with a dry corner. I use almost no pressure when wiping the cleaner on or when drying it. I've seen videos from one laser manufacturer putting cleaning solution directly on the lens and wiping it in a constant circular motion. That seemed really excessive to me. I wipe only as much as necessary. <laughs> I also don't like pre-soaked wipes because I feel that you need to go over the optics with a separate dry tissue quickly to avoid any streaking that you get as the solution evaporates. This is why I like using one sheet that does both wet and dry. I've also seen suggestions about putting lens cleaner directly on the optics. I honestly wouldn't do that unless it was so dirty that I felt it needed to be soaked. This would assume that you even have the ability to remove your optics so they can be laid horizontally. I've used some lasers where you just couldn't do that and had to clean them while they were still in the machine. Another reason I wouldn't put solution directly on any optics is if you intend to use the machine immediately after cleaning. Cleaning solution evaporates quickly, but not if it pools into crevices. If you run your machine after cleaning with air assist on, the remaining solution can be blown all over the lens. Also, as the laser heats up your optics and the unevaporated cleaner, your optics can fog up. If either of these issues occur, you might have been better off not cleaning them in the first place. If you're wondering how frequently I think you should clean your optics, I wouldn't even begin to guess. The manufacturer of your laser probably gave you a recommendation. I wouldn't go by that, except maybe as a starting point. They don't know how you're using your machine, only you do. How frequently you need to clean your optics will depend on so many factors, including your brand of laser, the material you're using in it, how you're using your laser, in other words, are you cutting or engraving, how good your exhaust system is, etc. So how often you clean your optics will really be up to you. I believe experience and common sense will dictate your frequency. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think and if you have any tips for cleaning your optics. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more videos coming soon. Stay tuned.